Hey there, I just made this small dog carrier out of this duffel style bag that I noticed my puppy loved to jump in. So I dumped everything out of the bag and I made it her carrier. And I even made her a soft, luxurious pillow for the inside. It was so easy to make and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. So like I said, this is a duffel style purse. It's actually a knockoff of an Italian brand. So what I'm gonna do first is remove this extra little pocket here because it's not needed. Loving this tutorial? Please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. So now I'm marking where I'm going to make this opening on the side. I'm just using a plain china marker. And I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. And now using an X-Acto knife and scissor, I'm actually going to just cut around. And there are a few layers in there, but I'll show you in a moment how I sew them all together. I went ahead and threaded my machine with this clear nylon thread, and I put my machine on the zigzag selection and I am going around the opening there that I cut. So as you can see, I did remove the arm of my sewing machine. It has a free arm, so it fits under there. Well, sort of fits. It's kind of, you know, one of those tedious sewing jobs. Now that the sides are sewn together, I'm going to make this a custom little pillow. So I happen to have this minky plush and I figured it's perfect. Now I'm just folding it in half so that I have a symmetrical pillow. And I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine and sew it together, leaving an opening on the top so I could turn it right side out. So now I'm turning the pillow right side out and the funnest part is stuffing it to see exactly the shape and how well it fits inside this purse. So my pillow feels great. I don't want it too overstuffed. So it also fits well in there. So great, I love this. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just bring it back over to the sewing machine and just close off the opening. Now I have this bias tape for sewing and I decided to just line the perimeter of this opening here. So I'm gonna actually just use hot glue to get it on there. I know everything's pink and I'm not even that girly pink type, but I just happen to have all this, so pink it is. And yes, my puppy is a girl. Yeah. 
here is opening up the bias tape and lining it up or centering it to the edge where I cut on the purse. And it's perfect because the bias tape has a line or a crease right in the center. And here we go. I changed the view here. I think you could see it a bit better, possibly this way. And that's pretty much it. It's all ready for the pillow now. And I'm gonna get my little Poochie, that's my puppy's name, right in there just to see how much she likes it. And now my puppy gets to sit in her favorite bag. So I've tested this bag out with her and she definitely doesn't jump through the open holes there. But if your puppy may, you may wanna consider putting a netting or mesh there. So if you really enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you also check out how I make my washable and reusable wee-wee pads. Thanks for watching.